Thank you, Nino. Bless your holly favor. What's your my name? Bad, my bad family, Rashad. Rashad? Yes, sir. So you remember coming over here, all right? Yeah, I remember y'all son to Jacob. So you already know you is one. Come over here for it. Oh, yeah, I know where Israelite, you know what I'm saying? So you know you're Israelite, bro. I got to address it. Yeah. What's going on in the store? So we're going to the store. You keep the morning stop at the drink. store? I don't, nah, I don't mess with them, but you know what I'm saying? I got to get something to drink for my little kids. You know what I'm saying? That's football. That's what it is. You know I really don't mess with these motherfuckers right here. I can't stand these motherfuckers, but it was a convenient thing right now. So, you order, you know, according to the mm -hmm. water or something? Oh, yeah, that's all I'm getting. Something to drink, you know what I'm saying, for the time. And then go, oh, look, y'all, ah, uh, see? Y'all man. Y'all man. Y'all got water and everything. Well, look, okay. it ain't even that. We, we, we dealt with the principle of the matter, though, right? So, you know there's no buying and selling on the Sabbath, right? What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's all I'm the law, though. So how long have you been knowing about the truth? I've been knowing about the truth for about two to three years, you know what I'm saying, on my journey, on my spiritual journey. So go ahead, bring it out. Okay. Go ahead. Get the Exodus 20. Uh, what is it, 6? Uh, this is Exodus 20 and verse 6. Bring it out. out. Uh, yeah. Bring it out. I'm going to start on verse 7. Exodus 20 and 8. Bring it out. The Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and it rested on the okay. seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So the Sabbath day, do you believe today is the Sabbath day? Of course. So according to the Sabbath day, we only supposed to be resting. Mm -hmm. right? We're not supposed to be buying or selling or doing any kind of work yep. or any of our pleasures on the Sabbath day. That's, right. That's why the brothers went over there and tried to, they tried to uh, get a hold of you before you went in there and bought anything on okay. Sabbath. I got a question for you, my okay. brother. You know what I'm saying? All throughout the week, what are we doing? Are we representing throughout the week? Yeah. Or we come out here on Saturday. Yeah. So this is y'all work. This is how you work, right? Okay. So y'all here working on the Sabbath? Okay. Hey, get that. Uh, we out here every week. I teach to my brothers every day, and I'm out here every day, family. Okay, brother, we and don't want I understand you to get what you're saying. Enough. I'm not getting offended. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I understand the word. I understand truth. Understand truth. And you see, I don't even got my wallet. Because I'm not buying enough for me. My son and my son is over there doing their thing, playing the football. You know what I'm saying? So you wasn't going in there buying? No, nah, not me. So what was you doing? I was going in there with my son. So he, you was letting him buy? Yeah. Well, it says nobody can do nothing yeah. on the Sabbath. Yeah. And then when he comes into the truth and when he finds his path, then that'll be his choice. Uh -huh. Up until then, he'll have his grace and I give him his freedom to make his choices. Okay, so look, you know you're out you read the Gospels before? Yep. So yeah, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that's what we believe his name is. He says, uh, he that uh, that keepeth not the law and teacheth men so, you can teach men by not only just teaching them through the scriptures, but actually showing them with action. So you allowing him to go in there and buy and sell on the Sabbath, you're conditioning him to something. And that is to break the, the commandments of the Most High God. You're teaching him that it's okay by not correcting him, rebuking him about it. You agree with that? I agree. Go ahead. Proverbs 22 and 6. Training yeah. up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's right. So, brother, that's a, that's not a... Just because it was him doing it, it still falls back on you because that's your son. Does. Of course it does. But, you know what I'm saying? I understand where y'all coming from. You know what I'm saying? And I agree with everything y'all saying. There's no, absolutely no way I can disagree with the word. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is... You know what I mean? I'm out here and I represent for my family and y'all and all of us every so day. If, can I get a precept? Hmm? I got a precept. Yeah, you got uh, it. Let him finish and then you can get your precept. Cool. I want you to finish with oh, you. Go ahead. That's all I'm saying. I'm just okay. saying I'm out here every day representing. It says Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus 33 verse 21. Right no. For better is it that thy children should seek to thee than that thou shouldest stand to their courtesy. So you're doing a beautiful, I want to commend you, you're doing a beautiful mm -hmm. job by being a representative yep. of the Most High and standing up and wearing fringes. That's right. Your children are seeing that. Is this your mm -hmm. son? Yep. So that's a beautiful job, man. Mm -hmm. But you cannot forget that they're looking at you and everything that you do. Mm -hmm. If 
you are doing that, then they're gonna use they're gonna make excuses for themselves as well. Of course. But just it's just a warning. At oh the end yeah, of the I know. Day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know. I appreciate it. No, I know. Bring it. And this I mean, is literally you know it. that this is love. Yeah, of course. Because literally, of course. We, that's hey, why. You know what I'm hey, saying? I love it. We, we he see, needs to hear it is too. We just, see your that's father. That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? We see your father. Your father don't know us, and we don't know him, and we don't know you. But we know that that man is a, un, a man of understanding, mm -hmm. and he is an honorable man That's right. when we see him. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful thing that he's your father, and he's trying to show you how to be, mm -hmm. right? But we're just correcting him on some little things, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. So you're doing a good job. Hey, and here's a light and deed. Yeah, mm -hmm. here's a light and deed, man. Mm -hmm. All praises, man. Yeah. I mean, I see y'all, and I, I know what it is, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, sometimes people backslide, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm right for that, but it is what it is, you know? But, and I appreciate y'all showing y'all love and being out here today. But the, like the scriptures say, mm -hmm. it's better that your children stand in courtesy to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they got to bend to you. Don't don't let them bend to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be the other way around. Don't do it just because they're the... Find a way. Bring bring water. Bring cups of water. Mm -hmm. And most likely, God's gonna see that and honor that and bless you. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Don't break it because. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me solve this right quick. Go ahead. Read that from Matthew five. Matthew chapter five and verse nineteen. Bring it out. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments right. and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So, teaching men so would be. You allowing somebody to do it and not rebuking them because uh are you familiar with the law like you read yeah. okay so in leviticus 19 you know what it says you hate your brother if you're not rebuking and correcting them that right. goes for your children also right so what you're doing is you're teaching them that it's okay to break the law by allowing them and actually going in the store with them we've seen you going in the store with them now, that's a no-no king i'll praise you man that you know that but yeah. you said you had one yeah, yeah yeah um a few points like i actually told you moses would be taught when every sabbath in the synagogue mm -hmm. All right. so it was very it's not a good point to say that we're doing something bad according to the law because we're going out here and doing uh, no, i didn't say you're not doing nothing bad according to the law what i'm saying that is that there's an every day that you can come out here and help your brothers and i see y'all here on your sabbath and you're doing your thing you know what i mean and i appreciate that but this is also work and every day is a day for god's work that's all i meant for that you know what i mean it seemed like you were using that to justify doing that that's no, not what you were doing never that okay cool so i'm gonna just cover these scriptures just so everybody even our own brothers understand this mm -hmm. this is second kings 4 and 22 bring it out and she called unto her husband and she said send me i pray thee one of the young men so this lady is asking her husband to give her one of the servants mm -hmm. and one of the asses that i may run to the man of god and come again so she's trying to go talk to the man of god look at what her husband say it's really distinct and you got a key in on it and he said, wherefore would thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, it shall be well. So normally when you're trying to seek the men of God, you go on the new moon or on the Sabbath. So I'm showing you in the Old Testament, it was our custom. It was the custom of the prophets. It was the custom of the priests to teach the law on the Sabbath, to go out to the highways and the byways on the Sabbath, on the new moon. What scripture was that? Really? Second Kings 4.22 and I read verse 23 also. And of course, you already know what Yahweh Shah said, but I'll read it anyway. This is Matthew 12 and 10. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered, and they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall, shall there be among you that shall have one sheep? And if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. Mm -hmm. So, you said there's more work to be done, mm -hmm. and you only see us out here on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Notice this. The Sabbath day was made for us to rest. Exactly. Instead of us using our day to rest, we come out here. Isn't that more honorable than less honorable? Exactly. And it's time. It's been recorded. We came out there on days where it was not the Sabbath. And what did we do? Hey, we did Paul, community service. Hey, this right brother there? was out here not even a month ago feeding people. That's right. Hey, that before right? then, this brother, that captain, that brother, who else was out here? Aharon. Aharon was out here. Zion was where out here. Where were y'all at? Right here, picking up trash. For real? Right yeah. here. Well, I'm here, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. We always I'm out. Here. We don't have to get your number, though, yeah. Yeah. so we can actually. Yeah. Community work. Hey, did we get you a flyer, a flyer last time? Nah, y'all didn't have one last time I came. Oh, okay. But you know what I'm saying? 
We need more unity, that's what I'm saying. I feel y'all. Sure. We all need a support network. So I can holler at y'all. You need sure. my number specifically, or is this not a good one no more? That's not a good one no more, but this email is good. Yeah? The email's still good? The email's yeah, yes, good. sir. Well, yeah, yeah, we're just having personal too. Right? I got y'all. Email, you can get a number personal, personal name. Yeah, seven, that's man. what I'm saying. I get you the personal names number and numbers. Because mm -hmm. honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Since I came out to Tulsa, I ain't really found too much of a support group, and I ain't gonna lie. I've been in a backslider mode right now. Now, yeah, that's why I'm the first one to admit and come up and say what I got take to it say. Chain, and yeah. take it. That's like, right. It is that's what right. it is. You know. That's but, right. So I appreciate y'all. That's what y'all supposed to do. You know what I mean? Uh,